those students are happy they don't have to go back today. Yeah. Kind of yucky out there. Yeah, definitely not a great morning to be standing at the bus stop. So uh, thankfully, you can enjoy uh, some of these last few days of summer vacation before we do have to pull out that bus stop forecast. For now, though, a lot of you heading back to work this morning. Keep in mind, we are dealing with wet roads that are really becoming widespread as we go through the rest of the morning. So early morning commuters and even driving around at lunchtime, we're still going to have showers and storms in the area. But by the time we head home from work, a lot quieter of conditions will have taken over. So the bulk of the rain today is going to be early rather than later. The later we go into the afternoon, we will be driving out as the day progresses, which is always good news. So it's not a waste of a day. It's not going to rain all day long, uh, but definitely starting off with soggy conditions here this morning. You can see this big swath of moisture, some decent thunderstorm activity as well, just across the border there down into northern Kentucky. We'll keep an eye on our threat for storms as well. Most of us are just dealing with rain though early this morning. Closer look, northern Miami Valley, slowly but surely the activity is spreading up towards you. Give it another 30 minutes or so, and this will be working across the entire area. Versailles seeing a downpour right now. We've got some heavier rain moving into Greenville and looking a little further to the south here, really pretty much from Montgomery County all the way through Greene County and Clark. We have rain that is steady but falling moderate. So it's going to keep those roads wet. I'm definitely going to need the windshield wipers going throughout the early morning drive. And you can see kind of the poor visibility as we get some of these cars to roll through here. This is our Beaver Creek weather camera. Everyone's got their headlights and windshield wipers going this morning. It's 66 right now, so temperature-wise doesn't feel too bad outside. Through the afternoon today, we will end up cooler than normal. And you can see this rain is widespread all the way throughout daybreak, even as we head towards noon. We're still seeing some of these scattered showers and thunderstorms. They will be moving northeast, though, working out of the area as the afternoon progresses. So by 2, 3 o'clock, most of the Miami Valley is dry. We'll see a little bit of sunshine try to sneak in here as well. The evening commute looks quieter. And then heading into the night tonight, not a whole lot of shower thunderstorm activity expected. Most of us are sitting in the 60s right now. Through the afternoon, we're going to keep a steady climb with our temperatures, but similar to yesterday, cooler than normal. We'll only get up to about 76 today. Some other cities across the Miami Valley, 74 in Belfound will be around 77 in Springboro, 75 in Tip City. Tonight, we drop to 66. We will hold on to broken clouds. Very small chance for a stray shower, but I think most of us are just dry overnight into tomorrow. And tomorrow afternoon, we warm up a little bit more than today. Most of us should be able to get back to about 80 degrees or so. Tomorrow, we will have a little bit more rain to deal with. It's not going to be this widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. You can see the best chance looks to kind of favor the eastern half of the Miami Valley. We got just a few pop-up showers. One more time here to deal with in the afternoon. Then we'll get back to some dry time. So making your outdoor plans, keep in mind, the later we go into the day today, the better things will get. Tomorrow, the activity is going to be really isolated in nature, so just keep your eye to the sky if you're going to be out and about. Then Thursday and Friday look pretty dry here. Temperatures are actually going to get a nice swing upwards. We'll be back up to 87 by Saturday with just a pop-up afternoon storm. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's check in with Sergeant Mark. Good morning, Sarge. And good morning again to you, Kirsty, dealing with these wet driving conditions. We do have a minor crash now on southbound 75 near Stanley Avenue. It looks like the right lane may be partially blocked. There's uh, plenty of room to get around. It wasn't really creating a traffic problem per se, but uh, something to watch out for if your morning drive does take you along that area of southbound 75 between Stanley and Route 4. Traffic Tracker is giving us a live look at the conditions along that uh, area of 75 by Stanley. You can see the wet conditions that we are dealing with. As far as, far as uh, freeway traffic, though, travel times are still within the normal range. I'm Sergeant Mark Bowman, WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. 521 now, 66 degrees. Millions of dollars in construction proposed at Dayton International Airport. What a developer has proposed in addition to other work already being done. Investigators say a worker smuggled drugs into a Lebanon Correctional Institute. How they say she got the drugs into the prison. Justin Bieber, remember.